Hey, shalom everyone. This is Amir Tsarfati. Uh, short message from me um, on this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if I can call it historic day. Together with me is the next generation, uh, Elon. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, arrival of the first batch of coronavirus vaccine in Israel. And again, I am going to have a whole program very soon, very soon, on the vir the uh, vaccine itself, the coronavirus vaccine itself. We're going to talk about all the concerns that people have, what it might cause to people, what it might do to people, or what people are afraid of. All of that is something else. But I do want to tell you something that I just uh, saw today on Israeli news which really bothered me. And I'm sure that all of you are going to see more or less the same thing all around the world very, very soon. So regardless of what the, virus, the uh, uh, vaccine contains, let me show you what the Israeli news is saying. Okay, so it says this. These are the following things that people who are not vaccinated will not be able to do. Watch this, folks. When it comes to um, when it comes to um, coming back to Israel, anyone who had been has been vaccinated will not be um, will not be quarantined. Okay? Well, I can understand that. But it's getting better. Anyone who wants to enter a movie theater, um, some other event theaters, and cultural institutions. If you have that new card that shows that you have been vaccinated, you can go easily. If you are not, you might not be able to enter movie theaters other live event theaters and cultural institutions, museums and other things. Listen to this. They're telling you. They're, you might not be able to enter those things. Next, hotels. If you have been vaccinated, you'll be able to enter every, in, every hotel. If you have not been vaccinated, listen to this. Entrance to hotels will either be limited or completely prohibited for anyone who has not been vaccinated. Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? And the last thing, going to watch a sport game, a match somewhere, sport event, or even to the gym. I'm reading, if you have been vaccinated, no problem. If you have not been vaccinated, you are not going to be allowed into sport events or gyms. Do you, uh, do you understand what I just said? Again, we will have a whole program on the vaccine itself, the COVID vaccine itself. We'll talk about everything. I'm not even talking about the vaccine the content of the vaccine. I'm talking about what I'm being told right now by the Israeli authorities that is going to be voted in the next few days. If you are not going to be vaccinated, not only that once you get back to Israel, you will have to be quarantined, but you will not be allowed into movie theaters. You will not be allowed into sport events and gyms. And you're not going to be allowed into hotels. Do you understand what I'm just saying? Now, this is, these are the recommendations of uh, the committee that is, and they're going to vote on it very, very soon. I am just shocked by what they are even considering. Now, again, regardless of the content of the vaccine, even when it comes to flu, flu shots, not everyone wants to be vaccinated. And other things, not everyone wants to take vaccines for other things. 
This is the first time in history where a person who has not been vaccinated for a certain disease, and by the way, this is the lightest disease of all, is not going to be allowed to live normal life. This is it. So I want, you know, I shared that with my family. And the first thing that my wife said is, this is the end of the world. And I'm like, well, these are the end times, of course. But uh, this is, <laughs> this is the first time. It's not going to happen. It is happening. So I want you to, to understand, to grasp the, 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 the magnitude of the moment of us living in these last days in moments like these where we are being subjected to submission in ways like never before. So again, I'm going to have a very special program on the COVID vaccines, faith, and the end times. I'm going to bring experts, Bible-believing experts from the medical field. We're going to talk with biologists, chemists, and others. We're going to examine the different concerns that people have about the vaccines. But what I just told you is not about the vaccine content itself. I'm now talking about the liberties that are going to be taken brutally by governments all around the world from people. Now, whether you take the vaccine or not, of course, it's up to you. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that the consequences of not taking the vaccines, the imminent consequences, are far above and beyond what all of us could ever expect. I want you to share this video because uh, um, we're being suppressed right now by Facebook and they are not allowing people to see anything unless people shared it. But I just want you to understand, folks, this is it. We made it to the final, to the line, to the final line, to the end of a long journey of humanity. And uh, I will tell you much more about all of this in a special program about the COVID vaccines, faith, and the end times. So tune in for that. We will let you know on social media when it's going to happen. I just wanted to report the things that were on the Israeli media today. Because Prime Minister Netanyahu today announced the arrival of the first 600,000 doses of vaccines, Pfizer vaccines, in Israel today. And um, it was important to me to share with you what is going on here in Israel. And by the way, we are one of the first countries in the world to receive those vaccines. And, but at the same time, you're not going to distribute vaccines without telling people the benefits of taking them. So they're already talking about the benefits. And by the way, there's no benefits here besides the fact that you're going to keep your normal life they're not telling you that you're going to receive a million dollar to your bank account they're telling you that you will be able to attend a sport event or go to the movie theater or enter a hotel i mean what was yours to begin with and then taken from you is now being given back to you on one condition take the vaccine Un believable. We'll talk much more about it in our upcoming program on the COVID vaccine, faith, and the end times later on, probably next week. But until then, think, ponder about what you just heard and start praying that you know the, you need to know the Lord because these are, this is it. This is the, this is it folks. You know, I, I, I don't know how long we have here, but you better get ready for our redemption indeed is drawing near. I love you. Thank you. God bless you. Elon, you want to say something? Say shalom from Galilee. Say shalom from Galilee. Okay. Well, he's a little shy. Love you. Thank you. God bless you. And, uh, we're not going to have a Middle East update today because uh, of some family uh, circumstances, but um, which make we due to those I have to stay home. 
Um, but um, I will definitely get back to you with the, probably it's going to be Saturday evening. Until then, keep the faith, run the race, fight the good fight, and um, stay faithful. God bless you. Bye-bye.